Okay, I have it in program mode. So let's see how this goes. way there's a water burger <sighs> so it's looking pretty good uh, it's a uh, 1 1 60th of a shutter speed at f11 so let's see if this keeps it cool it does recognize the car in front of me picture quality still looks good so this is in uh, Super 35. So I've been doing shorter clips so they don't last as long. I'll put it like part one, part two, part three, or I might take a couple of clips and you know, make sure they're like five minutes or over. Um, if you do a video too long, people don't watch the whole thing, but if you make it interesting and short, they'll watch the whole thing, basically. And I'm trying to decide if I want to really get that donut, or you know, place or wait until I get paid on the first and I might do that just wait I'll just go back home so you can see the clouds moving of course with this 11 millimeter I can see the cloud moving but uh, you may not but they are moving <laughs> See, with 11 millimeters, uh, it's so wide that it'll cover the whole screen. And I'm not using the uh, external mic. I'm using the internal mic on the camera. Because the voice quality is pretty good. I, I was getting some clicking uh, noises when I had the uh, Video Micro Pro on there. And, um, and you know what? Let, let me just try the onboard sound and then I'll know what to do. Usually I have the Rode Wireless Go mic with the lavalier hooked up to it. But uh, I hear some thumping sounds now and then also. Especially when you're driving, you get the bumps in the car and you get this thumping noise. So, uh, I do notice that the Rode Wireless Go mic, it's more of a, with the lavalier, more of a bass. And uh, the built-in camera is more of a treble, you know, sounding voice. So I haven't done that yet. I've been using microphones, external microphones for my recordings. It gave me the warning, hey, uh, it may not continue because the battery is a dummy battery. I said, okay, it hasn't failed me yet. Still recording. at 4k 60 I got it in program mode I had it in aperture uh, mode uh, since I used it last night so I thought I used a super 35 with the Sony 11 millimeter lens during the daytime yeah, that same guy is walking around Make a right here. 
here. potholes in this road they just patch it up and it's going to be like this until they complete the uh, the overpass or the bypass or the HOV lane or whatever they're going to call it they're coming along I've been doing a lot of work right here. And I'll be glad when they're finished. Now there's this truck right here with uh, from Home Depot. I'm going to let them go. First, because I know it's harder for a truck to stop. I'll put these videos up. Go browsing my favorite store at home. I don't see any lenses that I need. I think I'm pretty well caught up. I am thinking of getting rid of two. The 20 to 70 which I wasn't impressed with and um, the 24 to 50 or something like it's an f2.8 I wasn't too impressed with that lens either so I might just get rid of them bring them back to uh, the camera store and then um, I'll be getting a lens tomorrow, the 20 millimeter Sigma. It's uh, the I series, but it's for the L mount. So I'll put that on the S9. And then mid November, I should be getting the 18 to 40 millimeter lens. Hopefully, I may have to wait. But the 20 millimeter will suffice. So this one is kind of like an 18 millimeter, 20 millimeter would just be a little bit closer. So I do have it in program mode, but uh, I think when you get a higher shutter speed uh, process, it overheats the camera more. So I put it in program mode just to test it out. And Super 35. And I'm going to eat some breakfast. leaving air conditioning problem or a heating problem one of the two 
leaves are dropping. I did mow the grass and then my neighbor started mowing my grass and they realized, oh, wait a minute, he mowed his grass. But I can see a few spurts that have up in the past day. So you get these little prairie grass that has these little grains at the end. They keep popping up. I stop watering the trees because the leaves are dropping. I might put some water in the bird bath though. So uh, thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time. Bye folks, have a wonderful day.